Hey guys, Donnie Wrights out here. Bookmakers Review. It's Thursday, college basketball time. March Madness? Yeah, technically it's here. The month of March conference tournaments are underway. However, we're going to take a couple group of five conferences here that aren't yet into their conference tournaments. They'll begin next week, but I do still think there's some value on the bone here. Let's take a look at the first game, 735-736. That's Wichita State and Houston. Heavy line here, 17 and a half points Houston is laying towards Wichita State. The total in this game listed at 133 and a half. Pros for Houston. They're the number one team in the country. They move at a methodical pace. They dominate on offense. They dominate on defense. What is not to like? However, if we're lining this game up right now, how about Wichita State? A little bit under the radar here. 7-3 and three road record here, which includes five straight games that they've won on the road. Now, granted, Houston is a better basketball team. Houston is probably going to win this game. The last time these two teams tipped off, Houston did win the game on the road, but by nine points. Wichita State, not the great Wichita teams, excuse me, Wichita State teams that we've seen in the past, but this one capable. Maybe not of pulling in the upset, but also playing good enough basketball to hang around in this one. Let's take Wichita State at the 17 and a half points, and also let's go under 133 and a half. If it's going to be tough to score, and it really is at times against Houston's defense. I look for this pace to be slow, grinded out, a win by Houston, but not enough to cover and also staying under the total. Let's take a look at another game. Charlotte, the University of Charlotte, going on the road to take on UTSA. If we're looking at this game overall, how about Charlotte? Slow as a snail's pace, and I get that, but they've actually won five of six games, including winning back-to-back -back road games. If we're taking a look at this one for myself, Charlotte is is the better basketball team. It'll move at a decent pace. Why? UTSA does play with a lot of tempo, which could give extra chances for Charlotte to run their offense. We've seen games in the past, I think we did one, with Charlotte at a 109 and a half. Now this total is up to 133 and a half because that's because UTSA is going to push the basketball. I'm not saying we're going to get into a track meet here with Charlotte, but they'll be able to execute at their will. I'm going to take Charlotte tonight at minus six, but also take their team total over 69 and a half points. The last time these teams matched up, Charlotte was able to win convincingly and got into the 70s. I think they'll do exactly the same thing again. So we have a couple wagers to have some fun with tonight in March Madness. That will be Wichita State plus 17 and a half under 133 and a half in that game versus Houston. And then Charlotte minus six on the road against UTSA. And also we'll take the Charlotte Miners there over their team total of 69 and a half. Let's cash in. Let's go four and oh tonight and get after it and start this weekend trend in style as we head towards the real tournament coming up in two weeks. I'm Donnie Wrightside for Bookmakers Review, and as always, good luck on those wagers.